You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters, let's talk about the Chicago Sky, or more specifically, Kennedy Carter, because she was back to her old ways last night. And what I mean is literally thugging out a WNBA player in the way that she tried to decapitate one Caitlin Clark. I don't know what the WNBA is going to do. I doubt they will do anything. They'll just call it a hard foul. Okay. Uh, Again, I've seen hard basketball. This is something else. And you will not convince me this is not personal. Why? Because this was on her ex-teammate, Marina Mabry, that played on the team, a hell of a good player, by the way, that I believe the Chicago Sky kicked out of town and got pushed out of town because they made it very clear, we're going to sideline you for the politics of Chicago Sky basketball. What politics is that? Oh, my God, we got to make sure Angel Reese touches the ball all the time. Don't worry, I've got a video coming on that and her performance last night. Woof. Yikes. So, a lot of WNBA fans today are asking the question, What are you going to do, WNBA? Are you going to do anything? She was hit with a flagrant last night, and it was very ugly. Now, this was the situation yesterday. The Chicago Sky coming on the court, and Mabry was out here, right here, and these Chicago Sky teammates that was her teammates just a couple of weeks ago completely ignored her there's kennedy carter they just walked right on by uh like she didn't play on the team now it was my understanding she wanted out because she did not believe the chicago sky really cared about winning championships you see this this was the first game mabry faces off against the team she previously criticized for lacking a championship mentality i agree all right why do i agree I think it's more about, oh, let's get one particular person on this team, their flowers, and damn winning and damn anybody else. I I believe that. Uh, So, Kennedy Carter, flagrant one on this hit for Marina Mabry last night. And we'll get to reaction, don't worry, but here it is right here. Uh, And the ball is going to come in right here. And Carter, boom, whacks her right in the face with a a nice little clothesline, all right? And you can see she's jacked up right here, laying on the ground. Of course, pat her on the back because this is what the Chicago Sky do. Uh, I mean, they're going to assault somebody on the court, and their teammates are going to celebrate it. This player that, by the way, got kicked off a team that's, that's been booted off a team for fighting, Seriously, a team got fed up with her because of her actions. What are we doing? Kennedy Carter needs to be thrown out of the WNBA before she kills someone. I can't believe the Chicago Sky coaches condone this violent behavior on the court. It, 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 it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. There it is right there again. Let's take a look. Boom. I mean, what is going on in this league? Don't forget, this was her actions on Caitlin Clark. Called her a bitch and then slammed her to the ground. And here we are still talking about this player doing some very heinous crap on a basketball court. Some reaction coming out of, out of, from fans. I mean, wow, seriously. This is a ghetto player that should be banned Look at her line in the fourth. Fourth quarter for Carter. Zero points, four fouls, four turnovers. A lot of people are cheering for Marina today because they're like, thank God you are off this team. I'm glad Marina's on a different team and away from such a toxic teammate. Uh, Seriously, so uncalled for. She hacked the shit out of her. Uh, I mean, dirty. At this point, it's on the coach. Some people said, 
that the coach actually laughed at this last night. I don't know if that's true, but if it is true, Kathy Engelbert should suspend Kennedy Carter and the damn coach and find the organization and send a clear message. Hard fouls are one thing. What you're doing on the court is something else. By the way, I'm going to keep it real here. Kennedy Carter just basically assaulted another white WNBA player. I don't know what you think that looks like to you, but I know what I think it looks like to me. Seriously, we're starting to see a trend now. It's officially a trend. At this point, it's on the coach. Clearly, this culture is one she's created. Uh, I can't argue with that. Kennedy Carter needs to go. And what is the deal with teammates uh, of, of players? If this was the NBA, oh, shit. You'd have had three guys rush in on her. You know, if this was a guy. She needs a lifetime ban. Not shocked. That's her. A loose que- uh, cannon with questionable ethics. I-, I mean, it's crazy. Right here, Kennedy Carter out here turning WNBA into WWE. Now, nah, WWE is more, ki- more kid-friendly at this point. Throwing elbows like it's a steel cage, all while they're trying to keep it family-friendly. Someone tell her this isn't prison ball with the stars. Bring your kids, but maybe also a helmet. There's, look, the WNBA is trying to gain ratings and bring attention. This is not what it's about. How about this one right here? Why was Kennedy Carter dropped by two WNBA teams? In July 2021, the Dream announced that Carter had been suspended due to con- conduct detrimental to the team. The reason... After she got into an argument, Carter had challenged her teammate, Courtney Williams, to a fight. To a fight. I mean, seriously. What are we doing? No place for that. It's basketball. Suspension coming. Are are we sure? Uh, There's Rashad McCants, a former NBA player. She's rough, ain't she? Yeah, no doubt. The most least likable person in the WNBA. How about this one? She hates white women. There we go. I mean, there we go. I, I think I think we hit the nail on the head with that one. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, <laughs> I mean, Angel Reese, you would have thought would have been the lead video this morning. Nah, Kennedy Carter uh, assaulting white players again. It actually takes precedent. Don't worry. I'll get to Angel Reese next. Holy crap. What a disaster she is. Tell me what you think. What should Kathy Engelbert do? I say she's got to be suspended. And it's got to be progressive uh, suspension. What I mean is, boom. Give her three games. Give her a week. She comes back and does it again. Uh, set your ass down for the season. You do it a third time, good luck. Go play in front of Vladimir Putin in Russia. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.